Well, mud lovers, here we are again, with the craft history hunters, going out and finding those long lost treasures out there on the lower Thames. Steve, Jules, and Sai, about to get some luck in the muck. Wow, what a beautiful day this is. We're out here on the hottest day of the year. Steve assures me that the aircon is working. That's cool. Hey. You got one for me, Jules? We'll cut it, <laughs> yeah? Nice, thank you very much. Oh, first one for the bucket. All right, Steve. As Steve came was so successful last time, I got you your own little bum bag. Oh, yes, here we go. Steve Cam Mark too. I mean, it's called a bum bag. Yeah. That's or it. Americans like to know them as a fanny pack. Oh, fanny pack. I've got a fanny pack. They're doing me that adult sizes. Oh, I don't know. That was, yeah, maybe that was a little child size <laughs> one. You have to put it over your shoulder and be like the kids. Be all hip. Right, so there you go, guys. You'll get a bit of Steve Cam action, hopefully, later today. <laughs> is he a bit tight? If he can breathe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, sadly it's broken, but it's still a beautiful torpedo bottle. Oh, same top's gone, but I might cut that down, do something with it. Shame it's not complete, but you never know. Might be another one popping up soon, hopefully. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Cool. Well, that is, that's pretty cool. This is the top of something, it's got a nice emblem on it. Take that, take that. All right, welcome back to Steve Cam. As you can see, Jules and Simon are off yonder. All right, I just came across uh, this, which, oh, I was gonna say, I think it's a medicine bottle, but please don't be broke. Oh, look at that. Now that is a lovely little ink. And it is intact. Come on, oh, it's not. So is it? No, it is intact. That right, is a lovely little link. All right, I'm pleased with that. We should keep that one. Onwards. Just give you a quick update where them two are. I don't know if you can see them in the distance. That's Simon there, and that's Jules. They've overtaken me and charged on. But I will catch them up because I have this. Nice park there, Jules. You come here often, do you, my lad? <laughs> Aye. That's yeah. good, isn't it? That's a nice one. Hey. Lovely job, It's got the maker's name on it, look. That's a very big heel as well. Superb. 
back of some old pub in Deptford. <laughs> this is Steve Cam. We've left Jules over there. What you can't hear is him mumbling about Victorian flagons and stuff and the, the, the ramblings of a madman. Yeah, he's chatting away to himself. <laughs> We were walking along, yeah. mustering silly things, and uh, we were talking about not finding pot lids. We was. And we just found a half, literally as I said it, with a court jester on it. What it looks like. Oh, some no, sort. it's really cool. No, it's Spanish. Is it Spanish? Spanish? Could be. He's got a funny. Is hat he? On. Uh, what do they call them? He's got the big um, feet. Yeah. The ones with the yeah Spanish. Um, Matador. Not a yeah maybe no so not a matador it, maybe a matador yeah yeah it's got the cloak yeah, yeah. on his shoulder yeah oh, that's cool and what else have you oh that's nice nice pipe all right Simon's slowly catching up come on Si you need a hovercraft mate S for Si now these two are driving around the U bend. Clay pipe for side. Awesome, seventeen fifties clay pipe. Beautiful. So again, mate. But, I mean, we don't even get a chance to stop for a drink. It's just too <laughs> extreme. You got a few pipes I hear. Oh, nice little nose cone off of uh, any aircraft shell. Nice. Quite nice. That's beautiful. Nice. A little bit of mock away, you know, I'm a bit partial yeah, to we'll that type of thing. Yeah, we'll look a bit of mock Sort of American, maybe, that one. This is the Spanish oh, pot cool. lid. Nice. And you've got a nice little pipe there as well. A little sort of pipe with a Scottish thistle on it, I do believe, of some description. Scottish thistle? Absolutely, mate. That's but awesome. The creme de la creme. Oh, and the English rose on the other. Yeah, English Showing the rose unification the between England and Scotland together, eh? Yeah, if it actually focuses. Right, it's beautiful. A few people have got something to comment on that. <laughs> yeah, and you got something else? A few stories. Oh, oh, fantastic! I don't. It's so bright. I can't see if that's in focus, but yeah, I'm going to get it now. That is beautiful, mate. Well done. That's a lovely little fish mouth, isn't it? Fish or serpent or something. So, serpent, nice thing. Serpent, little serpent, I think. Fish. No. I think the serpent. Serpent, I reckon. I'm going with serpent. He's lovely, isn't he? It's beautiful. See? That's awesome. Great find, mate. Well done. Keep it up. Leave some for the rest of us. <laughs> ah, that's a nice little broken cod. I'll have to see all these later. I can't quite read it right now, but that's a nice one. Something about uh, this prop this bottle is property of so and so. Oh there we go, another R white's one. That's cool, take that. Steve Cam take four. I've done a bit of doing a bit of hover larking whilst like I said before them two are walking. And I spotted this. Which oh there's nothing on it, it's plain, but it's a nice little wing quill. I'll catch up with Jules in a minute, he'll probably be able to give you some more information on that. Right, I've just come across this, which is the base of an onion bottle. What I wouldn't give to find the whole bottle. We want the whole one, right. right. So we've, oh, it's a, oh. Yeah, a little mustard. Right. Is it a mustard? Oh, right, so oh, yeah, I've just been informed that it's, it's not an inkwell, it's a mustard, so. Simon's off over there, don't know where he's finding. Up the pipe, get in. Nice bit oh, of Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, what a VR. VR, General Post Office. Oh, man, that would have been gorgeous. Would have been a nice little bottle, look. I think, yeah, maybe we'll just take it just so we can do a bit of research oh, on it. It's a little chemist, isn't Spoonful. it? Spoonful. How bizarre. Spoonful maybe maybe when the message. post postmans are flagging they can take a little bit of that. Yeah. <laughs> it's unbelievable, isn't it? Lovely. Rare bottle that would have been. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, we'll take it anyway. Just, uh, huh? Take it anyway. Right, while Simon and Jules 
I walk in the debris line. Oh, so hot, I'm dripping. Not used to this kind of weather over here. I'm doing a bit of hover larking because I have a hovercraft, we'll hover. And I've come across this just on the water's edge. It looks like a three part mold. Yes, that definitely is. Oh, I think it's intact. It is. Well, yeah, that's quite nice. I'll keep that one. She's a keeper. Well, we're getting some finds up. We'll show you in detail later, but as they come up, George just found this lovely little bottle here. A little stumpy, maybe a seltzer water bottle with the name WM Culverhouse and Co. London, established 1808. And it's got a trademark there with a beautiful horse on there. In Victor. So obviously from Kent. Well I think it's from Kent anyway. Kent, yeah, Victor. Well, you're undefeated don't you know? Undefeated. Not, like, not like you Essex. Uh, oh, yeah. You Essex turncoats, let the Romans in. We won't <laughs> mention that. Don't so, mention the Romans. Nice bottle of water there, Steve. This is a uh, I'm spawned the day really. <laughs> it's um 2021. You found it, are you gonna drink it? Yeah, I'm gonna drink it, yeah. Oh you found it though at the petrol station. I found it. I found it at the service station. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, it's quite a lucky find, really. I mean, it was yeah. in the fridge, cold. Beautiful. Yeah. I mean, it's got. It's just got a bit of patina on it. So You're talking about it already, isn't it? Yeah. Hot. Spade. Yeah, there is stuff here. Stuff. There you go. Hey, broken cord. Huh? Broken cord. Yeah, cord. Told ya. Suprema. Yeah, that's trouble. We'll see how deep it goes. Yeah, why not? Well, we've definitely got a full bucket today. I'll get in there. This small but visible mound is an illegal fly tip from the Victorian era. As I've discovered from numerous articles, unscrupulous barge workers would take London's rubbish down the Thames and instead of taking it to landfill, sometimes it was just too tempting to dump the rubbish overboard to save time and money. A low act of greed that ironically today we can be grateful for because it supplies us with plenty of lovely mudlarking finds. How was that? Oh, well done. Hey, he's found a complete one. Complete one. Good work. So they're here. Just to get something interesting. Still complete. One, isn't That's it? cool. Huh? Near Link bottle. Yeah, I'm filming, so I'm in filming jewels. Filming the filmer. Yeah. I'm, I'm uh, you know, when they get those work sites and you get like <coughs> one person digging and about 12 people watching. Yeah. I'm one of the watchers. Well, I'm one of the watchers as well. Oh, yeah. yep. I shouldn't even be digging, I've got f***ing hands. Another one there. Yeah. There's quite a bit there, isn't there? Yeah, it's loads, mate. Yeah, it might not be an Oh, so I'm going to just add this little... Can we clean that up, so? Yeah. yeah, do you want to do that? Yeah, yeah. Jules is about to... I don't reckon it's an English, but... Yeah. It's, it's got the cork in it. A little medicine or a little blue. Ooh. I reckon it's blue. So. Really? Yeah, Take it to the washing station. Oh, have a look, just before you go. Oh, there we go. Have a, a, a shoeing piece. If anyone's, anyone's ever said that Simon's soulless, there's proof that he isn't. <laughs> there we go. What's this? There we go. Cool. Something cool. fresh from the. Oh, oh, oh no. What are we kid? What was it? Ginger beer, possibly? Oh, another yeah. one of those inks, I reckon. Well, nope, never mind. Dig away, Simon, dig away. I mean, I don't want to tell you how to dig it, but if you put your back into it a bit more, you know, you might... Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm doing this carefully, but I don't want to smash nothing. Oh, that is... That's definitely loads in there, though. Yeah, it is really compacted, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a tip, mate. 
Oh, 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 oh,
To the cobblers. Yeah, yeah it's ragworm, that is, look. Ooh. It's like a little dragon. It is, it's something, I don't know. He's like, I was in a nice kip then. You should, you should be in your hole if you're using it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, go go deep into Simon's hole, Jules, and it'll make it easier. Deeper, yes, deeper, deeper, deeper. You need to work on the thrust a bit more, though. Yeah. It's a very homoerotic channel, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Dry, mate. Your turn. Oh, 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 oh. oh what okay. we got here? Oh, there's a lot of inks. There's a lot of inks. There is a lot this of inks. Ink Island. Ink Island. Chris and E. Ink Island. Ink Island, yes, yeah. that's it. Every good island's got to have a name to it, isn't it? It has. That's it, you're doing well, Sorry, doing well. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of slow but steady. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, Jules a bit, I mean, I think Jules broke more than he actually. Whoa! Do you reckon? Oh, the, it's one of the detectors over this, so oh, there might be one here. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, we got one, we got a live one, we got a live one. You there? I'm here. We'll wiggle it. Oh, oh a little sauce, little sauce bottle, but a little broken sauce. Yeah. Where's the washer? Sometimes there's a name on the neck. Not today. No. no. Oh well. Oh no, it's a little little milk pour. Oh, it, it is. Look. Yeah. It's, See, it's it dainty. I do know my gear. What we want is that really stupidly rare London pot lid. I'm not taking requests. <laughs> if only. <laughs> Come on, so, would you mind picking me a really rare pot lid, please? Thank you. Another mm. chamber pot. Ooh. Yeah, I like a chamber Just pot. Oh, yeah, yeah, it, it was plain and horrible. I know. I know. I mean, some people dig holes 20 foot deep. Here we are, we ain't even got a foot. I just wonder what that was in the middle of that. Hmm, something, no? Salsa, a little saucy salsa. Got something oh, in there. Yeah, it's got something in there. Is it, I think it maybe it's just burnt or something. No, no, it's got no, but something. And then it's got a little bit of flora. Oh, flora yeah. around the edges, look. Oh, hang on. What do you expect from Ink Island? Ink well, from Ink Island, you would, you would expect another, more ink. Field ink. I think it's another boat, a boat ink. Yeah, it's really it. taken the shine off the one I found earlier, right? <laughs> I found myself a boat ink and I thought, at least I found a boat ink. We're on about the 6-1 right. there, aren't we? Right, clean the book. Clean about it. Oh, what's that? No, no. This yeah. is a bone. rib bone. A rib bone, huh? I think it's a piggy. I'll tell you what, I can honestly say there's more on Ink Island than there is Oak Island. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. And Ink Island's very small. <laughs> And how much did we have to pay to bring all the equipment out of here? All this, all this very expensive equipment. Shovel, yeah. We we'll do the seat corners, so I return to, return to Ink Island. Old, yeah, that's the one I dug out. Oh, okay. yeah, I think. Oh, nice. He's nice, isn't he? He's good at that. We could probably get a TV show, you know, Ink Island. Yeah, hopefully it's not the curse of Ink Island. Three men have to die. <laughs> no, is it three men get muddy <laughs> and wet? Whoop. Hey, here we go. Hold on that. Lovely, I thought that was a poison, but it's not, is it? It's nah. going to be another chemist. chemist. Plain, but oh, ah. a little bit of damage around the end of it, but still a nice thing. Yeah, wash your boy. Try and keep the contents in, because it's I will. more interesting. Than... Yeah, we'll try and we'll taste, we'll have a taste in later. Um, well, I'll tell you what point we stopped digging in about five minutes when the tide's on us. Oh, yeah, it's there, Simon, look. Okay. Tide and time and all that. I'd say less than five minutes actually. Christ, yeah, look, people coming in. Oh, look, there's something floating. Mm -hmm. I just thought I'd share with you why it's so dangerous out on the estuary. If you watch the tide, you can see how fast it's coming in. Look, that really is. Alive. 
Thanks, See you, lads. Another good, another good session. Yeah. Perfect session, mate. Couldn't have asked for a nicer day. 30 degrees, 4 degrees on the flying. You know when you've done a good job because uh, the livery is almost covered in mud. Well, there's all our lovely finds, just go and clean up at Hofcraft HQ. Well, what a scorching day that was. Great yeah, finds. Day. Let's see what we found. I'll just point out yeah. before we go any further. I've just realised I'm the only one wearing the official uh, <laughs> hovercraft merch fishery hunter nice. merch. I never got a t-shirt. You've got a t-shirt? No, I never got it. That's all right. Well, I, I do have a hovercraft related t-shirt. So uh, if you want to get okay. your merch, hit us up. I mean, hmm. we're, we're talking about it. <laughs> It'll happen eventually. Yeah. Anyway, let's see what we found. Yeah. So here we are. From ink wells to cod bottles to more ink wells and more cod bottles. Jules had the find of the day, didn't you, mate, with your beautiful pipe? Little serpent pipe. How cool is nice. that? Victorian. I've never seen one like that. No, I've not. Really I love the uh, yeah, little spirally shaped stem as well. Would it be a serpent or a catfish or something? It's got teeth. It's some sort of sea serpent, isn't it? Yeah, sea serpent. Yeah, sea serpent. Yeah, I'd love to know who smoked that. Old pirate or something. Ahab. We're talking nice pipes, that's another nice one that Jules found. English rose and Scottish thistle. Unity. Beautiful. And a few and a nice length there as well. I do like a nice length on this, uh, on this channel. Yeah. Some description. It's been said that Jules has got a nice length. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never had any complaints. Is that like a V? It's makers mark. This has to be Yeah. Yeah. You can never find out who, who these makers are, but um, still, a nice little selection of pipage. Oh, Steve's uh, stolen that. Uh, lots so, of broken pots. Yeah, lots of broken stuff. I mean, this is quite nice. It came out muddy, but it's, uh, I'm not sure what that would have been. Maybe, I don't know, top of something. Maybe mm. top of a dish, mm. uh, a top of, I don't know. I can't think, because there's Tea usually a little, little handle there. But know. beautiful uh, sort of Celtic design there, isn't there? Mm. Nice. You saw that come up as well, this little seltzer. And a nice little trademark on it, nice little embossing. From London. Yeah, from London. That's really cool. Right, can I, can yes. I just say that I found this and I thought, oh, look, I found a really nice little inkwell, right? And I was really proud of it and everything. And then, <laughs> yeah, we trumped you. But these are great. These all come out of our new little spot. We have called Ink Island. I like these two because of the iridescence. And this one, I think, yeah, it's got the cork in. And uh, we'll put a bit of wax on top of that to stop the cork from drying out. Just look at all those colours. 200 years of sitting in the mud has done that. So, yeah, really cool. Three or four of these inks are Field inks, named after James Field, the ink manufacturer from North London in the late Victorian period. What did you find, Steve, apart from that? I one inkwell? <laughs> <laughs> Just one ink well. <laughs> but then you were um, cat sort of. Uh, to be fair, it was that hot. I was just driving day. around on the hovercraft because it's like having air conditioning. You've got that fan behind you. Yeah, well, me and Jules are sweating our nuts off. Oh, well, I did stuff. notice. I, I, oh, actually, I found something else as well, didn't I? Hang on. Oh, three part mold, I found that. Cool. Whiskey or wine? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a bit of Victoria. Um, mustard pot, which Jules or, identified. Well, maybe a. Meat paste, of Meat paste or a mustard pot, yeah, it's quite nice. Something. Cool. Oh yeah, and also it came out of Ink Island. Well, these two little, two little inks as well. They're from T. Smith, who's on oh, the old yeah. road, I do believe. Is it T. Smith or something Smith? We'll get to the well, there's a we'll Smith the who's famous the, uh, for these on the, the old Victorian Kent road. Crime. Yeah. Entry. Well, I think everybody needed to write something, so the ink was in abundance, yeah. and they also like to smoke their pipes. So yeah. you can tell that we've... I found that interesting. Shame it's not whole, but it's got VR. General Post Office on it. And well, VR would have been Victoria, Victoria. Regina. Yeah. General Post Regina. Office. And then no, it's got it would have, it's got tablespoon measures or teaspoon that. measures, but it would have been a stonking bottle. Yeah. It's a shame the top half's missing. I really like this though. Your little wing pot. Uh, sorry, a little pot pot, pot lid. lid. Oh, such a shame. You got at least you got one decent half. 
But there you've got um, a gentleman. Looks like he might be a matador, like you said. Either way, it's not lovely crazy. Never seen anyone like that before. And it That's happened be... with age, that is. Yeah, it probably would have been white, wouldn't it, at yeah, some it point? Been white. But uh, an old break, you can see there. Um, and some cut down contenders. That's a nice uh, baitie's yeah. one there. Hamilton here. The other half of it fell off. From where's he from? Oh, it's a hybrid. Yeah, Bermondsey. Oh, nice. That's what Chambers, Henry Street, Bermondsey. So this is the beautiful little torpedo. Well, it's all that I cut down. Did this one at an angle, which uh, had to be done because there was a crack just about there. So I had to lose a few of these gorgeous words, unfortunately, but. You can still make it the word Bermondsey and all the uh, address there and the company name. Anyway, what I want to do, because this can't display, because it's a torpedo bottle, it was designed to be rested on its side so it kept the cork wet so the contents wouldn't be spoiled, I've come up with an idea how I'm going to create a very simple little stand using some simple wire. Let's give it a crack. So let's take a nice size length of this wire here. It's gonna make a very simple stand. I'm gonna wrap it around the can to get my shape. Hopefully this will work. First go, see if it works. Seems to sit all right. I'll go a little bit wider on the base just to give it a bit more. Uh... Try and keep it central as well. Will it work? <laughs> Not quite strong enough. Hmm, sort of there. <laughs> okay, if I was to staple that onto a piece of wood, I think that would probably be all right. It just hasn't got the strength to hold it up. Working well though. I wanted it to be minimalist, but um, I'm not sure if I'll get away with it. There we go, it does work. A little bit wobbly. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, just need a little bit of fine adjustment and it looks really good. Bear in mind that it took me literally a minute to make. I'm happy with that. That could display quite nicely. So one bottle which you may have noticed which doesn't belong here only because I didn't find it on the Thames I found this in the bottle dump um, it's got a beautiful crest there and I really want to make that pop so I'm thinking about putting some gold leaf on that and I can try it and if it doesn't work I could just scrub it off because all that's holding gold leaf on generally is PVA glue so I thought I'd give that a little go so I'll do this and hopefully it'll be ready for next week so stick around subscribe if you haven't done press that notification bell because I'm gonna give this a little go and see how it turns out. I've already cut it down. I've already uh, finished it off. It just needs a little bit of a zhuzhing up and uh, really make that crest pop. It's an uh, Idris bottle, which is a water manufacturer. Beautiful green glass. Coming up next week. See how I get on. If I fail, I'll also show you that as well. The top of a London Stoneware Park, probably Fulham, quite nice. Look at the colour of that. Is, that. is that empty now, that? Oh, yeah, it is. So maybe that'll stay in there. Maybe put some Something varnish in there to hold it in place, but that's really cool. Yeah, it's hard to stop this from rolling. <laughs> um, yep, 
Cod's Wallop, I mean Cod's Bottle. Bold. Here on Cod, 41 Grey Street, or Grace Church Street. Here is that bottle cleaned up and cut down. The words Hiram and Cod relate to the inventor of the Cod Bottle, Mr. Hiram Cod, who lived between 1838 and 1887. He invented the process of having a marble that pushed itself up into the neck in order to keep the contents fresh. He also initiated the idea of having a bottle exchange so that the empties could be returned to the vendor and a farthing or so returned in exchange, an idea I wish they would bring back these days to reduce our waste. However, you will see in the next few bottles embossing reading no deposit charge, which means not all manufacturers were on board with this idea and were happy for the bottles to be discarded as long as you weren't refilling them. This was a little r -watch one. Again, I cut this down, that looked really cool. Buying and selling of this bottle is illegal. You uh, can't sell it on Etsy? Oh yeah, I'll have to keep that one myself, won't I? And yeah, finally a bit of mockery. I found this one, I'm gonna give it to Jules if he, if he wants it. Yeah, and uh, it's nice. still designed, so. Yeah, mid 18th century, uh, sorry, 19th century. 19th century. Yeah. Oh, and also, we didn't mention this, but there is a uh, anti-aircraft fuse, and these little numbers there, would have been set to a timer so you could work out when you wanted it to explode. It's stamped up 34 or something on here. Has it? Well, it's got something there, 34 oh, yeah. and something else here. I don't know. Well done. There we go. All in all, not a bad haul. Very good. All right, just a quick piece on the beetle. She's all up together. Got the sand deadening inside, ready to go in. As you can see, all the floors have been done. Still stripped out, waiting to go off to be painted now, which can't be done until October. But yeah, she's all up together. So, what a great day. And uh, yeah, we'll be doing it all again in a couple of weeks' time. So stay tuned, subscribe, like. Like, subscribe, comment. tell your friends. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> Check out the merch. <laughs> Great, and we'll see you on the next Bud Venture. See you later, my lovelies. Peace out.